My neighbor is telling me about some jumping worms they have in their yard. Should I be concerned? I would definitely worry a little bit about it, but don't worry, it's not the end of the world. We are just at the beginning stages of learning about jumping worms and their impact in Minnesota. So jumping worms are originally from Asian countries. They were brought here by people on accident. But here's the thing, worms are not native to Minnesota at all. In fact, our native plants and the woodland wildflowers, they've evolved without worms interfering for 10,000 years. And people brought over European nightcrawlers as well. What we need to worry about jumping worms for is that as opposed to nightcrawlers, all it takes is one worm to potentially create up to 200 per year because they lay one cocoon per day as soon as they are reproductively capable of doing so. So they will hatch from their cocoons. They do not overwinter as adults. They only overwinter as eggs. Their cocoons will hatch usually in May. And by the end of July, they are laying their own cocoons for next year. The reason that we worry about jumping worms is that not only are they kind of gross with their violent thrashing, but they eat leaf litter layer from forest floors. So we're in a maple dominant forest right now. This leaf litter layer on the forest floor should be about eight to 10 inches deep because nothing should be eating these leaves. Unfortunately, the worms have been eating them. So we're lucky if our leaf litter layer is about one or two inches and it's only that thick right now because we're in a drought. Now worms can't eat dry leaves, they need to be wet. So once these are wet from rainfall, they eat them up and they turn it from a slow decomposing organic matter to quick release nitrogen in their castings or droppings. And as soon as the rain comes, it washes away. So I'd say for your neighbor, make sure that if you're sharing plants with anybody else in your neighborhood, that maybe it's not a good idea to share plants at all. Buy your plants from an approved, certified pest-free nursery or garden center, or what you can also do is wash your plants down to the bare root. So if you can see anything on your plants that looks like soil, go back and wash it again. And when I say wash it, wash it right on the spot that you got the plant from because you don't wanna take any worms with you. So once you have a bare root plant, you can pot it up in some nice clean potting mix and overwinter it, or you can plant it right in your garden as long as it's nice and clean. This plant right here, I would not transplant it anywhere else. It's dirty, it's got lots of jumping worm cocoons in it, I promise you. Ask the Arboretum Experts has been brought to you by the Minnesota Landscape Arboretum in Chaska, dedicated to enriching lives through the appreciation and knowledge of plants.